in a sign of Scorpio, which will happen on May 18th. Just guys, you heard this such a beautiful music. I tried, you know, to describe, you know, uh, what this full moon in the sign of Scorpio basically is all about. And since music is so very powerful, you can feel this mysterious type of, you know, energy, like something is wild in the air, something is very edgy, there's, you know, sense of mystery, something is happening, still maybe it's not very tangible, but soon will become very, very tangible. So my dear friends, please stay tuned until the very end of this video, because you ain't gonna understand how powerful this full moon in a sign of Scorpio is really. Okay, so full moon in Scorpio, 27 degree, and I will uh, describe, I will translate, I will talk about every single aspect of this big celestial event. Okay, so guys, you know, every single time when astrologers talks about, you know, Scorpio type of energy, and let me just remind you, you are not only a sun sign, you are all 12 zodiac signs. So look in your natal chart where you do have Scorpio. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on house. Because in this house, the biggest change uh, probably will happen. So first of all, what is Scorpio? Guys, you can see a chart in front of you. So you can see my difference, eight house right in here. This is eight house in natural so-called astrological chart. And eight house is about sharing something with one person or maybe with a group of people. But okay, let me start from the very beginning. Now, usually you will hear astrologers saying, you know, okay, Scorpio, Air House, this is about money, other people money, death, letting go, sex, regeneration, sharing, how you share your resources and even what you expect from your partner or from your family to be shared with you. This is also about control. This is also about intimacy, you know, how much you allow other people to see inside of you. The biggest problem with this full moon in the sign of Scorpio could be about fear of rejection. So many people, basically every single one of us, uh, yesterday, today or tomorrow, I mean throughout your life, we all will experience this fear of being rejected, you know. So what if I admit how I feel towards, you know, this person, you know, maybe this person will dismiss me. Maybe this person will start laughing at my face, you know, what then? I will die, I will die, I will shrink, you know, and I will die, you know, I will, I, I, I ain't gonna forgive that, you know, to myself, you know, why, why on earth, you know, I needed, you know, to do such a thing. Guys, first of all, forget about any kind of fear because, you know, sometimes we really need to be fearless. This full moon in the sign of Scorpio in uh, in eight house talks about being fearless. Guys, sometimes we all need to take a risk, but story goes on. This full moon uh, in the sign of Scorpio act like cork in the bottle. You heard me well, okay? This is like bottle of champagne and this is you emotionally vulnerable, but at the very same time, you are very excited, you know? And this is you like shaking to the core. You're being like a bottle of champagne. And of course, you know, this cork in the bottle will explode in one moment. This is exactly what will happen. So guys, forget about fear, take your risk, and simply, you know, do, say, or admit how you feel because you can't live that much longer with such an emotional pressure inside of you. So put an effort and go through, no matter what, simply take a risk. So this is you clearing your path in front of you. 
and I know guys, you know, revealing emotions, but this is not only about emotions, because both uh, Taurus, which is sign in opposition, both Taurus and Scorpio, they are on an axis of, uh, uh, Taurus is about creativity, Taurus is about your values, your talents, money, cash flow, and on the other side, there is a Scorpio, their value, uh, you know, uh, am I going to be paid for my efforts, you know, for my job, you know, so guys, if you want to proceed, and believe me, you must, you need to be strong enough, you need to be courageous enough to proceed with your agenda. Now, this Uranus, which is in conjunction with Venus, and Venus obviously is ruler of the sign of Taurus, um, this Uranus will give you strength. Simply, he will push you. Go, don't ask, you know. Simply don't ask. You go, take a risk, and you will, you will see that, you know, it will pay off. Mercury in the sign of Taurus, also in this uh, second house, Mercury is just in here. So Mercury uh, is uh, uh, is talking about money, making a lot of plans. Sun is also uh, on 27 degree in this second house in the sign of Taurus. So this is like Sun is saying to you, find your path, find your talent, do not be afraid, explore couple of times, yes, maybe you will be rejected. So what? So what? Try again, again, and again, 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 and again. One day, and probably soon, you will find your path, you will find your talent, and you will start earning a lot of money. By the way, in the next one year, you will find out this partner, friend, colleague, whoever this person might be, are they with you because of your money and your talents, or are they like truthful friends? This is also, guys, you know, what you need to learn with this full moon in the sign of Scorpio. If I need to put like a title to this video, and of course I must do that, uh, probably I will put like, you know, breaking free from stagnation, emotional stagnation. And another title could be like, Fortune favors the bold. You see, guys, try to feel this energy. And, of course, this is not a gift, you know. This is something uh, that you will uh, get, but only if you are ready to put a big effort to basically what you want to achieve. People are very fearful of 8th house because 8th uh, house is karma of relationship in your life from the very first day on the planet Earth until the very last day on the planet Earth. So guys, bro, I think that you heard so many times, okay, Ed House, you know, uh, in, ha in, in Ed House you can find occult knowledge, uh, occult science, and occult means hidden. Everything that you try to hide, even from yourself, but uh, in vast majority of examples for other people, this full moon simply will put a limelight, you know, everybody will see you know, from what type of material you are made. So guys, you cannot hide yourself. Why karma of relationship? People are fearful of a house or Scorpio house because uh, in this house we try to put, hide and even to forget uh, all mistakes, fears, uh, any type of uh, bad things that maybe we have done in our previous life and full moon simple will put that on the surface. Guys, this is big, powerful celestial event. Once again, you don't need to be afraid because nobody wants to punish you. This is only God and Cosmos wants to teach you something. So be bold. Admit. If you have anything to admit, simply do that and do that now. Okay? Uh, yes, I have done that. Uh, okay, I'm aware of my mistake. I am uh, ready and I'm willing to put an effort and to make it right this is about it okay so why people uh, are also afraid from a house because a house holds reward or punishment both reward and punishment okay some people will be punished because of what you have done to other people and some people will be rewarded you see guys so this is like uh, this is you talking with your shadow Air house is house of your shadow, your courage and strength to cope, to see, to confront with your shadow and simply to admit, yes, I was wrong, 
but now I do admit that and I'm ready to make it right. So guys, do that. Not because I said so, but this is the only way how basically you can save yourself. Now, furthermore, a uh, ruler of this celestial event, full moon in the sign of Scorpio, is Mars. Mars is on first degree in the sign of Cancer, just right here. Okay, so we can ask ourselves, uh, is Mars in the sign of Cancer happy in this position, transition? Well, it is not, because Cancer is like a uh, water uh, element, and Mars is very aggressive and assertive. So Mars in, in the next one month will be like, you know, very slowing down, you know. But you want to go uh, further. Uh, you want to expand your influence. You want to live your life, you know. But hold on a second, cowboy. Hold on. Uh, because this Mars is also in opposition with Jupiter in a retrograde uh, moving in a sign of um Sag. so what that means guys you know uh, mars in fourth house jupiter in um, uh, in a, a nine house jupiter wants to travel and mars is uh, uh in, in four houses like you in your house dreaming uh, about you know expanding your horizons about traveling even about relocating not now honey not now you need to wait for a couple of months because first you need to take care of your children father mother grandfather grandparents husband or whatever and also basically family members so guys you know you just you just can't leave your house your home your roots just because you want to do such a thing okay so yes you want to live abundant life you can have that nobody's saying that you can't but first you need to take care of your family okay so Jupiter is saying, learn your lesson, learn your lesson. You have like four months or three months to do what you must do in order basically to do something more. Okay, so Mars is not only in opposition with Jupiter. Mars is also sick styling um, Uranus. So Mars is here and Uranus is here. So they are in a sick styling one another, which is excellent, guys. Sick style between Mars and Uranus is very good. This is about team working, unusual traveling. This is you um, uh, trying uh, to make a plan and honey, you will travel. But you know, uh, wait a second, everything will happen in the right moment. Uh, also, you can meet a foreigner. Uh, you can meet somebody who is really, really completely different than you. Very unusual person. But all at once, you want all at once, you know. So probably ain't gonna happen because you need to take care of something. Could be family, could be some legal matter, could be you selling your house. So Jupiter, which is in opposition with Mars, is saying, you know, in a couple of months, in a couple of months, and only then you will understand why God is like, you know, stopping you. Not now, but then, okay? So Mars is also squaring Chiron. Uh, Mars here in sign of um, uh, cancer and uh, Chiron is here in a sign of Aries. So they are making a square, okay? But what that means? Going against your fear because Chiron is about pain and some fear. But guys, believe me, uh, Chiron is here not to torture you, but to teach you to see your limits and how serious you are to achieve what you want to achieve. Now, at this point, I also, guys, want to uh, teach you something. Okay, so uh, try to imagine a woman. I'm talking still about full moon in a house in the sun of Scorpio. Try to imagine a woman in a hospital and she is gave, giving a birth to her child because in a natal chart, house of pregnancy is eight house. So try, try to imagine a woman in a pain trying to deliver a baby and you know a bunch of uh, nurses or maybe doctors they're screaming push 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 it now now push it you know this is energy of full moon in the sign of scorpio and i'm not talking only about women which are maybe now pregnant i'm talking about i'm trying to uh, to describe type of energy 
what the cosmos basically want from us. Push it, God damn it. You know, if you want to achieve something, push it. You know, this is the only way how basically you can go through this cork in the bottle guys you remember what i told you right at the very beginning so push it if you want to proceed with your agenda job love relationship whatever you have this very second on your mind honey you need to push it okay now uh another aspect mars will be trying in uh asteroid uh, fortune here and here which is uh, very beautiful. So what that means, Mars trying in asteroid fortune, uh, what makes you happy? Simply what makes you happy, okay? Um, why this is uh, important? Because asteroid fortune is in a seventh house, Mars is in a fourth house, so this is you uh, uh, being you know, in a relationship with someone who basically is making you happy, but probably uh, your friends or maybe even your family members ain't gonna like your partner or your friends or your lover or whoever basically this person is you know so but the cosmos is asking you you know if you are happy with this person then honey push it do you know move the mountains you know because of this person because this is exactly what this person will do for you so honey push it you know fight for your love and another very beautiful and powerful aspect is mars once again mars everything is happening around this mars is in a sextile with venus in the sign of taurus guys this is big for so many of you this could be love at the first sight but above all mars in sextile with venus accept gift of love because as far as i can see nobody else around you will do that so you need to be who you are you need to have integrity to fight against maybe the whole white world in order to protect because you will come to conclusion it is worth of my pushing and fighting for this person guys whatever i said goes for you and for a person who is like your current partner or maybe somebody who will push it because of you guys i told you at the very beginning there is a big, 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 big risk at stake. So somebody just might be very, very brave because of you taking big risk just to be with you, okay? But also everything what I'm saying, guys, you need to apply on your life. Could be family, uh, some matter, love, love relationship, business, uh, any kind of relationship with, uh, with your marriage partner, uh, uh, could be also ex- could be current or also could be somebody completely completely new so love at the first sight this person quite very easily could be your colleague love at the first sight in very unusual circumstances with very unusual partner person and like you know nobody will see through your eyes you know how you see and how you feel other people ain't gonna see that so obviously you need to fight you need to push it you know for for this love relationship okay so now uh, in a short let me just explain what that means full moon in a scorpio on 27th degree particularly degree this is love relationship based on emotional compatibility usually when i say such a thing the people usually translate because um, scorpio house is house of sex among many other uh, meaning so this is like uh, a love relationship based on sexual relationship is it good or is it bad or is it only sex or maybe it's connected with emotions and love this is for you to decide obviously you just might find you know very special person or even better yet this person will find you and you will go against your family and your friends you will go against like, the whole wide world proving to yourself your partner and everybody else that you were right when it comes to job and a business it's so much better uh, scorpio 27 degree to work for yourself because this 27 degree talks about freedom independency uh working um uh like a boss in your own uh, company uh also 27 degree scorpio talks about more money but now listen 
you don't have a control over uh, this money so be careful um, I'm not saying that uh, to uh, to warn you or, or to frighten you simply this is like a wave you know usually love and money you know acting like in you know, a wave going up and down up and down up and down or I'm saying maybe at least for some of you it's better to work alone to work for yourself because your soul is seeking freedom and dependency and simply want to become an authority in your field so honey let me finish this uh, full moon in the sun of Scorpio by saying follow your hunch such a brilliant ideas out of the box are coming to you and follow your plan your schedule through let me repeat once again breaking free from stagnation and simply fortune favors the bold so honey i am asking you do you consider yourself to be bold what ah okay so put your comment down below how much you know yourself how much you are fearful of uh, life generally speaking and do you trust in yourself so just remember fortune favors the bold and this is full moon in the sign of scorpio okay guys thank you so very much for stopping by on my channel call me book a private reading we'll talk about astrology and tarot make sure to subscribe on my channel and please guys share this video with your friends i'm sure your friends need to hear very powerful uh, explanation about full moon in the sun of scorpio until next video or opportunity to talk with you i'm sending you my blessing take care bye